Yo family, have you ever thought about how irrational it must sound to have a desire to go to a UX design boot camp that costs $10,000 and then after you take the boot camp for three months, you're claiming to be a UX designer and applying to different tech jobs at different companies and you actually don't have any professional UX design experience yet you're saying in your portfolio I love to create delightful experiences that improve the lives of others and the only professional experience that you do have is before you went to the boot camp you were working at Chick-fil-A handing out smoothies and flipping burgers and then all of a sudden you went through this boot camp and you're in the real world applying to tech jobs and you're like what the hell am I doing have you ever thought about how irrational and how confusing that must feel for a person that's going through that situation you might be going through that situation right now if that's how you felt and that's what you're going through um, I wanted to shed some light with you and some insights that I gained from some folks right because I was and the reason I I, I wanted to make this video is because I remember um, feeling confused and feeling this inner you know incongruity with myself because I felt like I didn't have the skills I felt like I wasn't prepared and it felt like I had to step out on faith just to call myself a UX designer now what I asked my LinkedIn community recently was uh, when is it okay for us to start calling ourselves UX designers should it come after we get a human computer interaction degree should it come after we get a paid gig as a UX designer or is being a UX designer just a self-proclaimed title nowadays I wanted to get the perspective of people who have been doing this for a very long time maybe 10 20 years um, and just spark some conversation around that so I wanted to share in this video some of the responses I got in case you are dealing with that inner turmoil and that inner confusion on, on your in your life right now so the first person said her name was Deborah she mentioned I'm a designer regardless if I'm currently being paid to do it or not you don't need to be paid by someone to validate you actors are still actors in between jobs artists are always creating even without a commission to do any creative is always working in some way I feel like it should be like universal health care you get to keep your status even if unemployed now I definitely agree with her perspective because for the most part, I feel like the things that I've done outside of design, such as being a dad and being a husband and mentoring people, you know, I feel like all of those different things, they're not related to what I do every day in my craft. Like I'm not working on the craft, but I'm definitely uh, developing my leadership skills and my patience, right? So I feel like the things that you do outside of design can also bring back certain skills when you're on the job right as a UX designer you need patience you need tolerance you need empathy and being a parent definitely develops all those soft skills um, another person named Sebastian who I work with what he mentioned is I struggled with this in the past as well where I grew up your profession tended to be defined by your degree or professional education that obviously isn't true today maybe it wasn't even back then and there your career is what you make it. Um, changing job titles are a part of that. By the way, it's sometimes healthy to not think I am a designer, but I'm working as a designer to stay flexible about what roles you might transition into. To me, the difference between I am a designer and I want to be a designer are your skills. If you're self-conscious about how to market yourself, work on those. It also helps to pick up a job where growing into your profession is accepted and welcome startups are sometimes like that now what Sebastian mentioned that was interesting to me here is the fact that he said you know the thought of saying I'm working as a designer but you're not really sure where you're headed in your career yet I feel like that definitely should take the pressure off of a person if they're not claiming to be something that they're not right when you say I'm a designer and 
you actually don't have the skills yet or you feel self-conscious about even claiming to be a designer, it could put a lot of pressure on you. What, but when you say, I'm working as a designer, then I feel like that, that kind of reframes your mind into having a growth mindset. Right? You're working as a designer, you're building your skill set, but you're just being flexible about your future. Right? And I feel like, especially nowadays, where, when we don't know where design is headed or uh, how the industry is going to change, that just kind of alleviates the pressure in, in some respect. Um, and the last person who responded to this question was a guy that I recently met uh, named Keelan. And what he mentioned is, I struggled with this for a bit when I was first starting out, uh, when I first started learning design and talking to others about it. It definitely felt weird calling myself a product designer when I still had another job taking most of my time. In hindsight, I think once you start designing freelance practice projects, schoolwork, whatever else, you're a designer and no one is going to question that. And I definitely agree with this sentiment as well because I have hired a few different folks who are contractors and you know they've done the tile in my kitchen, they've fixed the bathroom, and even if they're unlicensed and they can get the job done, they're general contractors, right? They can do the work and I feel like if you're a designer who has the skill set to do UI design or has the skill set to figure out the problems of a business then, and, and you're getting paid to do that or you're not getting paid to do that and you're just doing it for free, you can definitely call yourself design, a designer because you're getting the work done. You're doing the work, you're putting in the, the hours, you're putting in the time and uh, people are appreciating that, right? So I hope that this video changed your mindset. I hope that it gives you a little bit of peace and, and, and sense of uh, you know, relief if you are going through some of those inner, um, you know, those inner emotions of confusion. So anyways, guys, if, the, if this video helped, uh, you already know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.